Hey, this is Andy. I'm here at the Shikaruna studio and I'm just uh, over here at their painting booth and I'm going to have another look here at a little bit of uh, Shikaruna painting going on here for some of their new releases. And here we go. Some of the heads are already done. Some of the masks there. Some of the bodies. And here we go. One of the Shikaruna painters and they're looking at one of the new versions here being painted and so we'll just back up here as they get ready to do some more they're working with some of the masks here to uh, do some of the painting those all there you go so let's put the mask on there so the masks are really nicely made so they fit right over the piece perfectly and one of the reasons it's so expensive is because it's very carefully done. So it just sprays right over the mask here and it does it perfectly. And so these masks here are being used to make some of the stripes. There we go. So there's the figure. So we just done a red mask. And so here this application takes uh, two masks. So the first one is done, and right away he puts the second mask on to paint the second layer of uh, stripes on the figure. Get back over here to see a better view. It's messy. <laughs> so he's going to make adjustments on it, so it's going to be perfectly right, so that the mask goes on good. Voila! Perfect! No! <laughs> so you see here after he's done the painting, the mask is completely red, covered with paint, and only the stripes are left on the figure. And that is a look at how uh, masks are used to uh, spray on the sophobie. And as we're walking around here, we might as well take a look inside, take a look at the studio. And let's see. So we can see here the studio is also a shop. So back here we have some of the figures uh, on display. And some of the upcoming figures that they're working on for um, a couple of the uh, events in the near future. A couple of nice Onis here. the classic Shikaruna figures in the cases. I've seen these before. Some of the Cyborg 009 anime line figures. And a couple of more figures they're working on now. This here are some of the vintage figures also that they got for sale. And here we go. So look at the Shikaruni studio.